it's a product of us poly you know everyone working um, disparately perhaps and and we've always kind of wanted to you know to work collectively with with certainly with I think Australia is a really you know is a great place to to be a person interested in soft tissue work we've got the respect of um, of a broad range of practitioners here where other countries don't enjoy that kind of respect but it's taken a lot of hard work to get that respect because we want to speak the language of other other practitioners you know let's call a spade a spade if we want to apply tension to the myofascia let's call it um, myofascial tension technique you know like just don't make up any any silly names if you want to provide f friction to, to soft tissue and you want to do it longitudinal, we'll call it longitudinal friction. If you want to do it transversely, well then call it transverse friction. Don't make up any silly names. So if you want to apply a, a loading to fascia and the, the load looks like tension, then call it you know, myofascial tension technique and it might be uh, with additional through range movements. But that, that pretty much covers it. Problem of course, you know, if you want to write a book or something like that, then people might get conned into, well then you've got to have a a specific, you know, a new name, and so therefore, someone will make up a name, and then it just confuses the issue because perhaps people are doing the same kinds of work. They're starting to, to try and invent new names, and therefore, you know, making the thing very, very oh. disparate rather than you know along specific names. So, you know, words like release, we'd never use words like release because um, we aim to mobilise the tissue. We're not trying to release it. Release, releasing really is um, when you start working with docs and and uh, orthopaedic surgeons, and they they when they talk about a release, well, then a release is pretty much there's only one outcome from a release. You, it's a surgical release. So you get in there with a scalpel and you actually release tissue with a with a scalpel. That's what's the word release in musculoskeletal medicine. So, and we aren't doing that. We're not cutting tissue off. We're certainly trying to mobilize it. And we're trying to actually um, change it to actually to be restored, restored in its pliability again. But we're, uh, so we did just move away from words that, that again, that might create mistrust of our language that uh, through some docs and some orthopedic surgeons. So I guess, um, that's why we kind of wanted always to call a spade a spade. Hence, I don't know why there is so many uh, so many names, but there's a couple of reasons why there could be. Jeff, just a, that, that idea of just creating a you know a bit of high ground for yourself by making up a new um, a new technique, but it might just be a very subtle variation on a, a pre-existing technique. But if I call it something you know new, then uh, perhaps I might sell more books. But um, I think we've hopefully we've we've resisted that temptation and trying to keep it pretty much. Um, as I said, call a spade a spade and then we're all pretty happy.